In this video, I will explain Gregor Mendel's dihybrid cross. A dihybrid cross is a mating event between two organisms that are heterozygous for two separate genes. Di, meaning two, refers to the fact that we are looking at two genes, and hybrid, meaning mix, refers to the heterozygous genotype. So our parent genotypes in this cross are both heterozygous for two genes. Let's take a look at a classic Mendelian example in pea plants. The first gene we will look at confers pea color. This gene has two alleles, a dominant allele that results in yellow pea color and a recessive allele that results in green pea color. So the homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes result in yellow peas and the homozygous recessive genotype results in green peas. The second gene we look at confers pod shape. The gene has two alleles, a dominant allele that results in a round pod shape and a recessive allele that results in a pinched pod shape. So the homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes result in a round pod and the homozygous recessive genotype results in pinched pods on the plant. In this case, both parents have this genotype and therefore they will have yellow peas and round pods. Now we want to set up a Punnett square to look at the offspring of this cross. Remember that each row and column of the Punnett square is headed by the different gametes produced by the parent. In this case, the parent genotype can yield four different gametes, one with two dominant alleles, one with two recessive alleles, one with the dominant P color and the recessive pod shape alleles, and one with the recessive pea color and the dominant pod shape alleles. Given the law of independent assortment, we know that all of these gametes will appear at a roughly equal frequency. Now that we know all of our possible gametes, we set up a Punnett square. Because each parent produces four different gametes, there are four columns and four rows, making 16 squares in this Punnett square. We fill it in just as we would a smaller Punnett square, and here is what we see. Let's focus on the breakdown of phenotypes in the offspring. All of these squares represent offspring that will have yellow peas in a round pod. This phenotype occurs in nine out of the 16 boxes, therefore in nine sixteenths of the offspring. The yellow peas pinched pod phenotype occurs in three sixteenths of the offspring. The green peas in a round pod phenotype occurs in three sixteenths of the offspring. And the green peas in a pinched pod phenotype occurs in just this one box, making up one sixteenth of the offspring. This distribution of four phenotypes is the classic Mendelian 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio for a dihybrid cross. This is the breakdown you should expect when completing any dihybrid cross with unlinked autosomal genes. 9 sixteenths of the offspring will have the dominant phenotype for both genes. 3 sixteenths will have the dominant phenotype for the first gene, but the recessive phenotype for the second gene. 3 sixteenths will have the recessive phenotype for the first gene and the dominant phenotype for the second gene. And 1 sixteenth will have the recessive phenotype for both genes. That's all you need to know about the dihybrid cross. If you want to dig deeper, see my videos on branching diagrams or two gene test crosses.